it does get a little bit mentally exhausting because you do want to stay healthy. You want to be performing your best. You always have in the back of your mind the Olympic Games. Heather McLean just landed in Beijing, where she will be representing Canada for the second time at the Winter Olympic Games. I feel a little bit more calm. I'm more excited for the actual competition itself this time, and I feel more confident that I'll be able to manage everything else a little bit better because I know what to expect. The speed skater was overcome with emotions when finally getting to Beijing this week and has been open about how emotionally exhausting it is to prepare for an event, which in her case lasts only 38 seconds with years in between the games. So sometimes over that four years or eight years, it can get pretty fatiguing. And then by the time you actually get to the games, you're so worn out. So I've tried to make a really conscious effort in the last couple years to stay present and enjoy my training every day and every competition that I'm at so that I don't put so much pressure on the Olympics. McLean, who was born in Winnipeg but calls Calgary home, is trying to take in every element of the process and finding that passion in the preparation. Definitely the sprint training on ice brings me so much joy and I have to remember that going into the games. I have to remember to have fun and, and enjoy what I'm really good at and, and enjoy the experience. The elite athlete who's part of a squad of several female Olympic athletes sponsored by Cadillac Fairview says she's found calm and joy in two things outside of her sport that brings a lot of joy to fellow Canadians, gardening and... And I love houseplants, like my house is just, I have houseplants everywhere. Your plants, do they have names? Yes, they do. <laughs> Can you please share? There's no judge of nobody that's plants names them. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is kind of funny because I actually name my plants after people or things that I love. The Monstera in the back here is named Folklore because I got it the night that Taylor Swift released one of her albums. And then I have Nylander, Matthews, and Marner, like the Toronto Maple Leafs. So I name them after whatever. Other athletes, sports teams musicians. <laughs> I love it. We got to get a plant named after you in everybody's house. Oh my gosh, that's the dream. Hey, you never know the next house plant you buy could be called the Heather McLean. For the Olympics, the first official event actually is tomorrow morning for the mixed curling doubles with the opening ceremonies only taking place on Friday. And in other sports news, Tom Brady has officially made it official. He's hanging it up after 22 seasons in the NFL. For City News in Toronto, I'm Lindsay Dunn.